This is your headless professor talking about data entry for SPSS, Excel, and other statistical programs. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most difficult kinds of variables to handle, and that is a variable entered as a multiple nominal scale, where every case is to be categorized as one type or another or another. We have more than two categories. Here's an example of a multiple nominal scale. Religious denominational affiliation. Are you a Baptist? Are you Jewish? Are you Catholic? One of the obvious problems with this particular approach is we can foresee when we come to statistics and getting averages, for example. If we were going to call Baptists 1, Jews 2, and Catholics 3, are Jewish people at level 2 merely an average of Baptists and Catholics? That doesn't make sense. A better way to handle this situation is to go back to a binary nominal form of scaling. You're either a Baptist or you're not Baptist. In other words, take the multiple nominal variable and change it to several binary nominal variables. Make each category a different variable. And on that different variable, we're going to measure yes or no. So let's make three variables. Are you Baptist? Yes or no. Are you Jewish? Yes or no. Are you Catholic? Yes or no. This will make a great deal of sense where we have multiple nominal scales that are not really mutually exclusive in their categories. Let's consider psychological diagnosis. Depression, dementia, or anxiety. These are three separate diagnoses, but a patient can have more than one of these conditions at the same time. Indeed, the majority of dementia patients that I examined had some degree of depression as well, especially in the early stages of dementia. Or let's take the example of the type of truck you own. Do you have a Chevy, a Ford, or a Dodge? Well, it's possible that you could have more than one truck. You might have a Chevy and a Ford and a Dodge. They're not really mutually exclusive. Or let's consider ethnicity. Do you have European white ancestry, African, Asian, or Hispanic ancestry, or Pacific Islander, or Native American? Once again, these categories are not mutually exclusive. An increasing number of people in this country identify themselves as having multiple ethnicities, such as golfer Tiger Woods. So let's suppose that we are dealing with a variable in a, an originally multiple nominal scale, such as birth order. Let's see how that would be entered into our spreadsheet. Here we would create four columns one for each category. Firstborn, meaning that someone has younger siblings, but no older siblings. Lastborn, meaning that someone has older siblings, but no younger siblings. Somewhere in the middle, meaning that a person has at least one older sibling and at least one younger sibling. And then only child, which means that someone has no siblings. Let's look at our first case. Imagine that this person has an older brother and a younger sister. We would classify our first case as a middle child. So we would say yes by entering a one in that cell. And because birth order is exclusive, we would say that zeros should be entered in the other three categories. Let's look at case number two. Case number two is an individual who has a younger sister, and that's it. 
So this individual would qualify as firstborn. Type in a one for yes under firstborn and enter a zero for no for the other categories. That's the best way to handle multiple nominal scaling.